Barbara, I am so, so excited to connect with you today and to share your story for the benefit of everyone who's having a, a chance to witness you right now and your transformation and your love story, which is so inspiring. Uh, first thing I want to say is welcome. I am so, so happy to be recording this with you today. Oh, thank you, Bernie. Me too. I'm, I'm very, very happy that you called me to, to record this little video. Um, I'm very, I, like I was telling you a few minutes before, I'm very excited because I feel I'm living a different life. And I feel happier and lighter and I don't know, just different. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let me, start, let me start then by asking you this. I mean, uh, you and I first connected about a year ago, the first time we spoke. And can you describe to me a little bit about what was going on in your life at the point where you decided to reach out and ask for help? Yes, I remember clearly I had a, a breakup kind of with a guy and I was feeling like I wanted to die. I was very, my energy was low. I was feeling sick in my stomach. I was feeling tired. I was just like giving up, like totally. I remember telling myself, oh, you know what? Fuck this, I'm not gonna get married or, or anything. Any, I don't even want to think about this anymore. And uh, well, I went to a, to a friend of mine who's a psychologist and she recommended a friend of yours that then after a little while became a friend of mine who, who introduced me to you, Pamela. And so we had a little chit chat, I remember a Monday night, like really night late, like at one, one in the morning or something. And I started working with you. Uh, the first, to be honest, uh, the first interview we had, I was like, hmm, maybe yes, maybe not. <laughs> But you were very, uh, your questions were very important, like the first meeting. And so I, I said, you know, I'm just gonna do this because this might be my only chance. Hmm. So and let me ask you this, let me, what made you change your mind? Because if your first reaction was, I don't know if I'm gonna do this, what inside of you led you to say, well, it's not cheap and it's not easy, but I still do it. What, why did you decide to do that? Well, there were two reasons why. First of all, because I really, really wanted to connect with a good man, like for real. I was tired of getting bullshit around as partners. I, I didn't want that anymore. That's that's one. And the other one was that that really struck me was when you told me we were we were speaking for like five minutes or so and then you're like, Barbara, your energy is like a 65 year old woman. This is the level of your energy right this minute. And that was like to me, that was like, oh my God, really? I was I even told my mother I remember and my mom were like Yes <laughs> So this was eating me up and I didn't I didn't know how to get out of there. Okay, I totally understand. So uh, tell me, you, we decided to do this and uh, you went through a lot of ups and downs and we'll talk more about that in a second, but if, what would you say right now, having learned what you learned, were maybe two of the biggest insights or changes in your ways of doing things or looking at life that led you to change this once and for all? First thing, to love myself. Hmm. The love that you feel for yourself is very, very important, if not crucial, if you want to be happy. So what, what did that mean to you? Like for you in practical terms, what did that mean? Different from what how you're doing it before? Because we hear the term love yourself, but me, people usually women say, well, what the fuck does that mean? For you, what did it mean to you? It means especially to get to do things that I love, hmm. to introduce to my schedule things that I love to do like dancing, like baking, like commuting with women, mm -hmm. things that I didn't do before, totally. That had those drastic change, little by little, because I, every, I, I myself was a little bit, um, when, when I was introduced to change so quickly, I was a little bit scared at the beginning, but then I started letting go and I started joining classes, yeah, like dan dancing classes and trying to, become the little, not, not become, but be in touch with the girl that I, that I have inside of me. And that to me was like, hey, I'm loving myself more. And that automatically takes you to the road where you don't, we're not, you're not taking shit from anybody anymore. Mm. Progression, it's, 
okay. because to me it was progression at the beginning i was taking some shit then less and then and now i'm not taking you became super shit. sassy <laughs> Yeah. Okay. And then what, what, what's something else that really that you feel really helped you to create this change in addition to loving yourself more? Um, the other thing that's very powerful and that I'm very very grateful for to you for helping me learn it is to keep my energy level up. Hmm. I know this could be boring or this could be like, uh, do I really have to put my alarm three times a day? But you'd really have to do it because this is a way. You force yourself to wake up. Hmm. Once you get hold of that, it's, you're never gonna let go. It's like you never forget how to give a kiss. Hmm. Never. It's like that to me. Like my energy levels are. I mean, I I don't remember after maybe 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 before four months from now. I don't remember feeling as low as I did before. Yeah. Not again. I can have bad days like everybody, but it's not blue blue days that I want to cry and no not at all I, I know now how to get out of there either by dancing or, or singing out loud or calling somebody or reading an article or watching a program that's giving me I don't know different type of thoughts food for your soul yeah yes the energy energy <laughs> uh I was talking, alluding to this earlier, we, we went through, we went, my dear, through lots of ups and downs in your process of getting this. We worked together for 11 months, so it's not a short time period. And I remember very clearly, I mean, you, you first fell in love with someone and it didn't work out and your heart was really crushed. And I get this message, uh, maybe month six or month seven, uh, saying, Burn, thank you for everything you've done for me. This love thing is not for me. Uh, goodbye. And it was like super dramatic. And I basically said, okay, fuck this. I called you. It was Sunday at night. I call. I, I said, I WTF? Like, no, you're not giving up on the ship. And I'm not giving up on you, right? And then, lo and behold, you went at it again with a lot of strength, and you made it work. But it was. It came to the point where you were about to give up. So. I mention this because I used to record testimonials where people just just heard the amazing stuff and not the fact that it's really hard. And I make an emphasis right now on the fact that it's really hard. But my question to you is, it was really hard and it was not cheap. Was it worth it to you? Oh, totally. Absolutely. I remember that time when I sent you the message. And uh, <laughs> I was... You know, I remember it too. <laughs> <laughs> because I remember I was at the airport and I, I sent the message like three hours before because I was arriving and then I thought he's going to reply me but I'm, it's going to be late and I'm not going to answer him. That's why I did it at that time. I, was, I didn't tell you this but it was the truth. But then after two days, after that, I felt like shitty, like shit. Like uh, I remember we spoke on the phone several times throughout that week because you were really supporting me on the process. But uh, I don't know. I just had the strength to go forward. Like, I don't know where I took it from. I just had it inside and and when you want something, like when you really, really want something, you just put your everything there. And I, I was ready to cut off that, all, everything that wasn't working in my life, everything. You're super committed. So tell me, I mean, like the one of the, of the many, because it's not the only, one of the many prices that you got as a result of putting your heart on the line, doing the hard work, investing in yourself, is you found an amazing man who loves you and that you love a lot. Tell me about him, please. <laughs> <laughs> He's very nice and cute. I really... <laughs> nice and cute, that's good. <laughs> At the beginning, I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure because of the way we met. Mm. But then my heart was telling me, Barbara, stay here, don't go. And I, I'm recognizing him every time he's opening up more to me. We're starting to make plans for the future. We've already spoken about kids and marriage and he's not scared about it. I'm, I'm just, I feel, I remember you were telling me, you told me, oh, told us many times, you want a man to, that is, he's able to see you, to really see you. And he, he really does see me in all my spectrum. He, he likes to see me angry because he's seen me angry and he manages me very well, which I'm impressed. That's good. <laughs> he needs to. <laughs> I know. He tells me, Barbara, you have some character. And I'm like, yeah. he's like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but he, he really is somebody who's walking next to me right now. 
he I'm um, he's sweet and he's kind and he's a gentleman and he's just supportive and he calls me every day and he wants to to be with me he asks me when am I gonna see you again and then, can it be tomorrow or can I come today or maybe later and he's always there and putting himself of service to me and me too I'm not I'm not trying to be just the princess and the world around, uh, revolves around me. I, I give him, I give love to him too. And he says to me, he, he actually told me the other day, I love it that you're very feminine and that you're very kind and and cariñosa, how do you say that? And loving. Yeah. Okay. He, tell, he told me that. Yeah. yeah. And, and he's like, and that just melts my heart, he told me. That's so awesome. that. It's, it's really nice. He's, he's just great. I love him. And, and we are we are like the perfect match, I feel. It's like uh, he, we are different in many things. Like he's he's not very as organized as I am, but I'm a little bit of a freak on that. But no, he understands don't say. that. <laughs> <laughs> he helps me relax. You know? like, I can't do this. Calm down. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's okay, honey. He's like that. It's just, That's it's good. a lot of fun. Yeah, I, I love him. I, I'm i just happy. I'm really happy. I I'm feel blessed. I'm so fucking happy to hear this because I know that when we first started talking, I mean, you did this and part of you was like, this is shit, this is not gonna work. This guy maybe is like, um, I know my, it worked for Batman, but maybe it doesn't work for me. And now that it's working for you, I would like to, to ask you as the last question is, what would you say to a woman who's watching this right now? She really wants to find love. She's done all these fucking things, yoga, e e whatever, and it's not worked. And she's thinking, well, what if I do this? Should I do it? Should I not do it? What would you say to her right now? I will tell them that it's 101% recommended. It's a, lot, it's a powerful change that you have to do for yourself. It might be scary, but uh, it's really worth. And it's not only because you're gonna find a man in the end, that's just the conclusion of it. It's the whole process of becoming stronger, healthier, more lovable, more kind, feminine, empowered, all of those things that we tend to lose in the way of a career or maybe broken marriages or whatever, these this things kind of take things, a lot of things, and. and um, experiences from our lives and you start getting weaker but if you do this program you really go back to basics to who you really are and you touch base to, with your heart and with your soul and you and you have you're gonna have a supportive group like I like I did we are a group of a women I think and we are just friends we might not speak all day every day but we send messages to each other and we check up on each other and this is it's supportive it's just super nice i totally recommend it because like i said you 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 lose yourself in the way sometimes mm. and life is hard but it shouldn't be sad yeah. <laughs> it should... <laughs> thank you barbara for coming back to yourself thank you for giving me the honor of working with you and helping you and pushing you beyond how you want to be pushed but now that i'm seeing what came out of it Beyond this, the fact that you're able to start your own business now and leave the thing that was you were certain like there's so many amazing changes in your life and I'm so grateful that I got a chance to work with you. So thank you so much for being here. No, thanks to you, my love. I really appreciate you and all the help and I all my blessings to helping all these women. <laughs>